Hello, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and I've created a new tutorial video to show you how to make your own comic book. The project comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's up in the corner. It really helps me make more of these. Now, let me tell you more about that comic book so that you can learn how to make your own. Here's a quick preview of my own comic book, which I made so you have an example to refer to. You know, when you make a comic book, you can get some really good storytelling and drawing practice in at the same time. And the good news is that improving one skill will always also help the other one too. This book was made with the help of this guide that is available in my PDF shop at Art Projects for Kids. It includes some general advice about drawing, along with the templates that will help you both in the writing and drawing process. The materials you need to make this comic book are a few guides found in my ebook, a pencil, marker for tracing, and some coloring supplies. Step number one, use the story summary page to choose a story that you want to write about. The top box is good for an overview, and the bottom box helps you check your structure. You basically need to be sure your characters do something and then hopefully learn from it. Step number two, break your stories down into panels by splitting your story into steps. Try to keep things very general, no need for specifics just yet. Step number three, now you can improve the pacing of your story by condensing things as much as you can. Keep in mind that more than one action or comment can happen in each panel. It will keep your story more interesting and lessen the amount of pages you need to draw. Step number four, it's time to draw your characters. As you draw each person or animal for your book, try to make them as unique as possible. Notice that I made all the hairstyles in my women very different. I have pigtails, my mom has curly hair, and my neighbor has a fancier haircut. Choose a style for each so it's easy to tell them all apart. Step number five, now it's time to start your story. Use your story panel page to help you figure out what to draw first and second and so on. There are lots of different panel pages to choose from. If you're not sure which one to use, I recommend going with the large wide one. It's always better to have extra room instead of not enough. Step number six, continue drawing your panels. Tall ones are also nice for having a different look and adding some variety. It gives you lots of room for having a face in the corner and then some action behind it. Also note in the top right box that I'm thinking my words to myself. Most cartoon artists show those words with bubbles below it instead of an arrow. Step number seven, keep on drawing. Like I said before, use the wide panels if you're not sure what to choose. On this page, they let me easily show a question and an answer on the same page. Also note that the size of the letters can change too. Larger letters imply that someone is talking loud or possibly even shouting. Step number eight, continue your story. I'm using my letters here to show that I'm kind of mumbling while my neighbor is kind of shouting. Feel free to exaggerate as that's what most cartoons are about. Step number nine, keep drawing until your panels are all done. Remember to change the expressions of your characters often so they can help you tell your story too. Step number 10, now it's time to draw your cover. It's best to do this last, just in case things changed a bit while you were drawing your story. I recommend big, bold letters for the title, a large drawing of the main character, and some small clues about the story in the background. The band at the very bottom is a great place for your name. To finish, I recommend tracing all your art with a thin marker and definitely coloring in at least the cover. It will give your book a finished look and just might send you on your way to becoming a cartoon artist. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this comic book tutorial video. When you buy the Make Your Own Comic Book ebook in my PDF shop at Art Projects for Kids, you get my sample book as part of the download. I hope you try it out.